qualified applicants absolutely as efficiently as possible. Washington has made this goal of reducing the wait times for Indian visa applicants its number one priority around the entire world. Across the entire world, we've been directed to take some unprecedented steps, some things that in my career I've never seen us do anywhere in order to make sure we're putting visas in the hands of qualified Indian applicants. So already, to give you some context for that, in the last three months, or less in fact, in less than the last three months, we've reduced the wait time for a first time B1, B2 tourism visa to the United States by more than 70%. Specifically, that means today, the wait time for a visa interview here is 332 days down from more than a thousand days at the end of December. Back 200,000 new visa appointments to the upcoming year. We've brought our own baseline consular staffing capacity up to a level that we haven't seen since before the pandemic. And we've pioneered, for the first time that I've seen in my career, the off-site processing using our colleagues around the world as a back office to support the visas that we're processing or interviewing here in India. With all of this, already in the first two months of this year, we've issued more than two lakh Indian tourism visas, 200,000 Indian tourist visas, We're on track for more than a million this year. And these measures that we're taking to issue qualified Indian applicants their tourism visas, these are intended to help more people reach the United States and to promote your ability in the tourism industry to help those travelers travel, either as individual tours, or on mice tours to get to the United States. कहते हैं कि जिंदगी लंबी नहीं बड़ी होनी चाहिए और उसमें बहुत बड़ा हाथ होता है एडवेंचर का क्योंकि कुछ हमारी विश लिस्ट रहती है कि हम जिंदगी में एडवेंचर करें तो ऐसी एक जगह है जिसे सपनों का देश कहते हैं जिसे कहते हैं यूएस से यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका तो वहाँ पर एडवेंचर के लिए बहुत सारी जगह है जनरली हम यू को एक सपनों की दुनिया सोचते हैं लेकिन वहाँ पर इन सपनों की दुनिया के अलावा बहुत सारी ऐसी एडवेंचर भरी चीज़ें हैं जिसके बारे में ब्रांड यू एक नई फिल्म लेकर आया है और उसमें एक ऐसे एस्ट्रोनॉट जिन्होंने दुनिया को एक अलग ही नज़र से देखता है मेरे साथ है जॉन जो दुनिया को ऐसे देखते हैं जिससे हम भी नहीं देख सकते हैं और इस फिल्म में उन्होंने यू के बारे में बहुत सारी ऐसी बातें बताई हैं जो आपके रोंगटे खड़े कर देगी सो जॉन वेलकम टू मुंबई माई प्लेजर थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी सो जॉन आई मीन वी ऑल लव यू एस इट्स द सिटी ऑफ ड्रीम्स द कंट्री ऑफ ड्रीम्स बट दर इज अ डिफरेंट पार्ट of us that's the adventure part and you as the the man of adventure who has seen a world from a very different perspective so in this movie uh, what have you brought to the world well we're it's an immersive experience in IMAX in a big screen we take people to places that are not really that well known in the United States and get them to experience that beauty the beauty of that as well as the beauty of the people that are there so where all places in us which all the terrains which are the Uh, which are the specific places you have covered in this film? Oh wow! How, how much time do we have? Um, we went. We started in Oregon, uh, Brookings, Oregon, and then we went to uh, Hood River, went to Crater Lake. We went to my my home in Idaho, where I lived in Idaho. Uh, we went to New York City, uh, actually upstate New York. We went uh, to South Carolina. We went to Colorado. Many different places, and it was all beautiful. What do you feel about this initiative by Brand USA to bring about a US people don't know much about? I think it's important, it's very important that, you know, places that I appreciate or places that I have been to myself to share them with the world and so they can say, "Hey, I would love to go there." So I think Brand USA has done a fabulous job of taking that out and broadening it out to the world to see. Well, pandemic was a life changer for all and after pandemic we have started appreciating nature in a very different way. So what are the natural uh, things of adventure in US that people should look about especially after the pandemic where nature has been appreciated in a very more candid way now you know, I think being the pandemic we we're all kind of cloistered in we couldn't get out then we had that opportunity to get out i live in northwestern montana i also live outside of new york city so i have this appreciation for the great outdoors as well as appreciation for being in a large city and the people in that area uh glacier national park is very close to where i live in montana I go outside with bear spray. You know, I have to, it's a very exciting place to live. If you do it the right way with the right people and the right knowledge, you can do these things safely. And I love sharing that with folks that maybe have never experienced it or only seen it on TV or seen it in the films. So any 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 thrilling moment during the shoot, you know, you are narrating with your two more people with you. So any any specific incident you while on shooting the series? Sure. 
Well, we were in, in Utah, Moab, Utah, uh, climbing. We had a, a couple of folks that were climbers. Uh, I'm a rock climber myself, but they wouldn't let me climb in the video. But we had one young lady that climbed the very top of the spire. And in 3D, the, the reaction from people is you look it's like you're right. You feel like you're right there. We premiered this in Washington, D.C. back in 2020, right at the beginning of the pandemic. And the gentleman sitting next to me was General Thomas Stafford. He was the commander of Apollo 10. He went to the moon, didn't land on the moon, but really close to the moon. He sat next to me watching this in 3D. When he saw that portion of the film, that rock and the, the woman going, yay, he took his glasses off and he goes, wow, the man's been to the moon. And he thought that was impressive. So that, that tells me what the movie's done exactly what it's supposed to do. So uh, uh, USA generally is a, is a mix of uh, you know beautiful terrains to a very nice view to, uh, to to national parks and museums and lots of what. So as as a tourist destination, what does uh, US offers to the world? Wow, I think it's a natural beauty that a lot of places that you may not see that you may you may have only seen about or read about in a book. But being able to, to see that in this big immersive uh, environment, you know, I want to go there. And you realize that there are people there that want to share that with you. And that's what I like about where I live. The people love where they are. They love being there and they love sharing with folks. So uh, you have seen, you've been an astronaut, you've seen the world we, we can't see. <laughs> so uh, it, Earth is still explored. It's a territory that we all humans should explore. So what do you have to say to those adventure adventure uh, people who want to like really, you know, they have this wish list that 10 things before they die. Yeah, yeah. So what do you think are the, what those adrenal, adrenal rushing things that a human being should do to see the world in a more candid way as they can imagine? I think step outside of your comfort zone. You know, I'm 64 years old, and, I, and just about three weeks ago, I was getting pulled behind a horse on skis. Uh, I was on a snow bike in the mountains of Montana learning how to ride a snow bike. You know, things that I'd never had a chance to do, and I'm in my 60s, and I'm still doing it. I think for people to step outside of their comfort zone and take, take that next leap to do something that's exciting, they'll remember that long after they're done. And that's what I, when I flew in space, I remember those certain moments that will stick with me for the rest of my life because I was there and I got the chance to experience it. Well, most of the people perceive India by Bollywood. Similarly, uh, USA is not just about Hollywood at all. So what do you feel, what Hollywood has stereotyped certain locations, certain places, certain trains about USA? And Brian USA is trying to like bring a different, a real USA to the whole world. What do you have to say to the, the stereotypical that's been done by the so-called Hollywood or sure. the so-called cinema, that mainstream cinema that everybody mostly watches? Sure. I think you know, one thing about Hollywood can do very well is uh, computer-aided generator uh, in, in, uh, images, CGI. Uh, the part of the movie where it shows me spacewalking is a phenomenally well done CGI. You, it looks like you're there. I think being able to do that and then take it into the real places and get people to experience the real places and, and the juxtaposition of, of the maybe the creation and the reality is what I think inspires people to get out and do something like that. Anything else you would like to share about the movie to the viewers? I had a fabulous time, and I'd love to share it with you. I love being in Mumbai and being able to share that with folks. I think we're going to uh, going to be in Delhi, Chennai, uh, Bangalore. This is my second time in uh, in India, and I love it. And I just hope people get to see the movie and enjoy it as well, and want to come to the United States. I heard you know a bit about Hindi, uh, bit Hindi also. So, uh, how much uh, fluent are you with Hindi? How much of Hindi you understand? <laughs> <laughs> I came and I filmed a commercial back in 2006 for, I think it was a TV station called Indas. It's like a, a music video type of uh, thing. Okay. And I filmed a commercial for a commercial rocket company I worked for. And I showed up and they gave me a plate. It had a donut and a can of Coca-Cola and a script in Hindi. And it was phonetic. And so I was able to, had a, had a green screen and I was floating behind the... Uh, behind a, a globe, I think. I've never seen a commercial, but it was fun. I, I really enjoyed that opportunity. Thank you so much, John. Such a pleasure to talk to you. Ending words to the viewers, what do you have to say about Brand USA and about this film? Uh, please come see the movie. It's a fabulous, uh, immersive experience of what's in the United States and some natural places that uh, you may not be familiar with, and I hope you get a chance to view it. Thank you so much, and such a pleasure. Oh, thank you and keep much. on rocking like you. you always do. Thank you. Yeah.